Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we've mentioned, we have now mentioned those scenarios in the book where uh, he's given examples of mentioning something even though there was no need to mention it. There are a few other examples I want to mention. Uh, this in a footnote of our, uh, it's in our footnotes and I'll go through it here inshallah. One is Aradu al Mukhatam. Okay, this is like you mention something to actually single out or point out the Mukhatam's error. For example, uh, Allah is referring to one of the disbelievers of Makkah, Ubay ibn Khalaf. Ubay ibn Khalaf. So he would say to the Prophet, May yuhil idama wa hiya rameem. Who is going to bring back idam? Bones. After they have been crushed. And rameem meaning they become dust. Obviously, what happens? You have, you have, imagine you have a, a bone. Okay, a sheep bone, camel. We have that, a lot of camel bones. Then you see camels a lot. And obviously, you have camel bones lying around. So there's camel bone. What happens after like what, a couple of years in hot sun, it, it deteriorates and you just, it becomes very brittle and you just squash it will happen, it becomes what? It dust. So he actually done that, he got one and he crushed it, he said, yuhil ilama wa hiya who, can, who can bring this back to life when it's all dust? So not to, to, re, to uh, refute him. And then Allah said, Qul Allah. So you can say, Qul Allah, isn't it? I said, no. Qul. Bring yuhyi again. So you have the question yuhyi. You say yuhyiha. All I had to say was the simple thing would have been Allah. Even if he wasn't asking a question, his, his question was rhetoric. He said nobody can bring it back. But Prophet Allah answered it. He said no. So all the simple answer, all this really means Qul Allah. That's what it basically means Allah. But there's too many. Allah says Allah. Instead of saying, he said yuhyiha Allah. Allah will bring it back to life. So he's mentioned Yuhi as well. And the second thing is, we do this in Mosul Sila by mentioning this quality. The, the answer has more uh, emphasis to it. Okay, for example, if Allah says, Oh, Yuhi Allah. So by bringing Yuhi, there's one emphasis. And by bringing this Sila, Mosul Sila, I bring that another meaning. Why? Not only Allah will bring it to life, the same being who created it the first time and who has power over everything, he will bring it back to life. Like yeah, it, so it gives more, it, 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 it's a more solid answer. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, let's say in Parliament. So, who should, who should lead? I don't think. So, you say, who should lead, uh, who should lead the, the, this country in the next, next decade? Certainly not those who put us in debt. Yeah. Is it, is it, so, so all you have to say was, certainly not you. Well, what will they say? Certainly not those who, are, who are put us in debt. Or, certainly not those who, sell, who privatize everything. Or whichever way you look at it, you get what I'm trying to say. So what happened by saying that? By saying that, you have done what? You have put the answer has more is raddal al mukhatab. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Taladud. You mention something because you enjoy mentioning it. Okay. No, these are not in the book. No, these are not in the book. These are not all in our, our footnote. The footnotes of our of, of our copy. Okay. Qala fa ma baal al qurun al ula. Fir'aun. He was having a debate with Musa and he was in a tight position. So then he said, what? Well, I got a good idea. His question was, Ma ba'al al-qurun al-ula. Okay, well, uh, if we are misled, what about forefathers? The four, our forefathers in, in five Jahannam, it's a bit of a tickly situation, isn't it? We say, yeah, your, father, your fathers are all in hell. It's like, the da'wah itself is going to fall apart. They're going to, you know, obviously touch the center of the spot. So Musa said, Qala ilmuha in the Rabbi. Allah knows. It's right, isn't it? And obviously the whole discussion as well That those people who do not receive da'wah Are they responsible or not What will happen to them Another issue altogether Yeah but that's, this is not aqidah class We'll do that inshallah sometime Okay So what if Musa mentioned here Ilmuha in the Rabbi fi kitab La yadillu Rabbi wa la yansa Why bring here Rabbi again? Importance you, That's one thing So Somebody says Tell us do that You just like mention the name Allah it's also the importance that trying to emphasize it. But again, as I said, these are not, these are not solid concepts. They're very fluid. And they can, uh, not rigid, they can change. And different people have interpreted differently. Okay? Let's take this example. That's in the Quran. وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَى When Allah was speaking to Musa, Allah said, وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَى Oh Musa, what is in your? What is in your hand? Correct? The only thing to say was, here, Asai. This is my staff. But he went on. أَتَوَكَّوْ عَلَيْهَا وَهُشْتُ بِهَا عَلَىٰ غَنَمِي وَلِيَ فِيهَا مَآلِبُ أُخْرَىٰ Why? Yeah. Yeah. For long the conversation, you want to talk. Hmm? He is, but Allah never asked, how is the stick? What do you use the stick for? 
He's doing it because someone obviously reveres him. You've got a chance to talk to somebody. You get what I'm saying? Like when you talk to someone famous, you want to. Yeah, and the guy's like, please don't waste my time. If he's got, if he's got bad manners, he just, uh, just run off, walk off. And if he's got good manners, he'll be like, okay, I don't really have much time, but yeah, just for, for your sake, I'll do it. Okay, so do you want to talk to, so you want to, talk to that person? Okay, because you, you know, it's really. Okay, so Musa went on talking. Okay. The most famous person, for, for most famous being, obviously for us to listen, to listen to us, but we don't have time to talk to him. That's our. Al Musali Naji Rabba. The person who's doing salah, he's talking to his Lord. Quran, dua. But anyway, there's another. Okay, you got it? Similarly as well, what happens here? Allah said, Ya Musa. Qala alqiha, Ya Musa. Why keep on mentioning it? Ya Musa. Love. love. No, no, Allah, but Allah take enjoyment. Well, obviously, that's free from all of these. To me, we more. If I say, Ya Bunaya, come in salah. Ya Bunaya, inna hain taqum iskala habba. Ya Bunaya. <laughs> yeah, nurture. And, and that's called what? So this is what taladzul to enjoy talking to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And what you think is nurture, and in Arabic that's called istinath, making the person feel at home. So istinas uns. I'm making them feel welcome, familiar. You. Yeah, but in any case, so obviously Allah speaks to us how, how, how according to our emotions, isn't it? So Allah says, oh, Ya Musa, ma tilka bimilika Ya Musa, alqiha Ya Musa. Okay, so you see here, look, how the kalam, the speech has gone longer and things that we mentioned which they don't need to mention because of this benefit. Following? Any question regarding this? No? You understand?